right guys i am headed into dollar tree this morning i have a couple items that i want to get out of here a couple items that i need probably a couple items that i don't need we shall see I like coming in here first thing in the morning because it is nobody in here and I can get through and get what I need without the lines being jam packed. I see these little tea tree things right here, these tea tree oils. I'm gonna grab a couple of these because sometimes you can find these and sometimes you can. Now, I use these for my hair so it is good to know that these are in here right now. I used to buy them from the beauty supply store, but they were much more expensive. I think they've gone up a lot. I haven't been for a while, but I like when I find those in here because those are a good deal. $1.25 for those, of course, just like everything else in the dollar store. Another thing that I wanna grab is some peroxide. Now I use peroxide to rinse, for mouth rinse as well as I use it to clean my fruit. Um, you can use peroxide for a variety of things. So I usually always grab a couple of these peroxides just for that reason. They've got some cute little body scrub things in here. This is vanilla bean and honey. They have a watermelon and mint one as well. And what is this? This is a this is a body wash, oil infused, moisturizing body wash. Dollar Tree has come a long way. They be having some good stuff in here. What is this down here? They got some foot scrub, coconut, mint, coconut milk and lavender foot scrub, some body oils. Another thing I wanted to come in here and grab is some pads. And I use these kind. I've been using these for a couple months now. Um, I don't have any issues with these. These are aloe vera lavender infused ones. Comes 10 in account and no dyes, no chlorine, no added fragrances or anything like that. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these. They also have the day liners as well. This comes in an 18 pack. And again, $1.25, I buy them from here because anywhere else you're paying a couple dollars more. So that is a good deal for them in here for the $1.25. They have all kind of little face masks in here now. I've never tried these. Have you guys ever tried these face masks that they have in here? This one is vitamin C and E three-step facial kit. So this is a whole thing right there. Then they have a cleanser and a mask. So I'm guessing you put the cleanse. Step one is the cleanser, and then step two is the activated charcoal mask. I've never tried one of these before, but one of these days I'm gonna try one. They got a tea tree one right here as well. This right here is an Indian turmeric gel cream mask. This sounds interesting. It's a facial mask. There was a specific soap that they had that they were selling in the Dollar Tree and now I can never find it. This is Queen V B Bar Micro. Hmm, I think I'm gonna try this soap right here. This is a pH balanced soap. It's called Queen V. This is my first time seeing this. It's called a V Bar. Cleansing Bar, Micro V, Iome Friendly and pH Balanced Wild Berry. Developed with a gynecologist free form from parabens and soap. I think I'm gonna try this, Queen V Bar. But there was another soap that I used to look for in here and I cannot find it. They always have Dove down here. I always grab a thing of Dove. This is my first time seeing this Shea Butter one in here. So I'm gonna grab one of these as well. They have some body washes in here. I don't really do their body washes, but these are not a bad deal for these, $1.25 for the body washes. So I'm thinking about redoing the cabinets and everything in my kitchen and wanna get some of these little liner things right here. 
I think I might grab some of these today just because, but I don't know which ones I want to get. I want something simple because I need to clean out my cabinets and these things will go perfect. I have these in my drawers, but they are old. They've been in there for a while. So I'm going to get a couple of these. I think I'm going to get this pattern right here to go into my cabinets and my um, part where I keep my silverware. So I'm going to get a couple of these. I think I'm going to get three of them. That should be enough. Three of these. They got a bunch of cute little water bottles and stuff for kids. I like these little mats that they have. These little table mats are cute. This one is the Paw Patrol. They got the Disney princesses and baby sharks. They got a few different ones. Spider-Man. And I actually, I think I'm gonna get a couple of these for my little kids because they've been making a mess. I think I'm gonna grab these for my little kids to eat on. These are good for them to eat on, the little placemats. I'm gonna grab them both the same one. That way they're not complaining on who got which one. Those be good for them. One of the things I wanna check out in here is their frozen foods aisle. They have come a long way. And this frozen foods aisle over here is completely stocked, guys. Look at this. Now I have never bought any food out of their frozen aisle ever but i'm gonna check it out today and see what i can find they've got just about everything in here i see these little things right here i think i'm gonna grab a couple of these i love these little cheese and cracker things for a dollar 25 you can't beat that because i want to say in the store for a three pack of them you're paying i want to say almost four dollars or something like that so i'm gonna grab a couple of these this one has the triscuits this one has wheat thins and this one has the Ritz crackers. Now everything down that way is $1.25. Then you come over here and there's the three, four, and five dollar aisles. So let me see what they have over here. I wanna say they got the Eggos in here. Those are probably the same price as they are in the regular store. They got some pizzas in here. They have the swirl sticks, bomb pops, they got twin pops in here, some egos, some TV dinners. They got some ribeye steak down there. I don't know about that, but they got that in there. In the four dial aisle, they got some Klondike bars, some more pizzas, got some Jimmy Dean's, uh, more pizzas, mostly pizzas. In the $5 aisle, they got a couple of ice creams up there. They got some Nathan's beer battered onion rings, some pizza rolls. This is actually a nice size pack of pizza rolls. I think I'm gonna grab these. $5, that's not bad. Um, I wanna say they're pretty much the same price in the regular store for these as well though. And they got some chicken nuggets. They got a couple TV dinner things. Um, fish, fish sticks, they got a pack of raw shrimp down there and pizzas as well. And then over here for the $5, these are just mostly ice creams. They got the Magnum ice creams. They got some Reese's ice creams. They got um, cream sickles. Reese's, well, those are just Reese's peanut butters. They got the Talenti, um, Sorbet, dairy free. These are all dairy free ice creams. They got some Ben and Jerry's, some Briars down there. So I'm gonna grab these and then I grabbed a couple of the snack packs out of there as well. And I'm gonna come back down and check out more of what they got down here. They got the little icy things in here. My kids love these icy cups. So I'm gonna grab one of these. I prefer the one that has the variety pack where it's two different ones, but I'm gonna grab this one because they prefer the red over the blue. What else? I 
they got Jamaican beef patties in here. Now, I tried one of these years ago. Okay, so I won't say that I've never had anything from the frozen food aisle. But years ago, I tried the Jamaican beef patties. And I'm pretty sure it's better if it's not frozen from the dollar store. But it wasn't bad. But they have a bunch of these little sandwiches here. They got breaded chicken sandwiches, ham and cheese sandwiches, cheeseburgers. They got barbecue chicken sandwiches. Um spicy chicken sandwich and a grilled chicken sandwich so I think I'm actually gonna grab a couple of these because these are good for the kids to eat after school um, they're always looking for a snack to eat when they come from school so I'm gonna grab a couple of these just so they can have these I'm gonna grab the grilled chicken one I'm gonna grab the spicy chicken um, I'll grab one barbecue chicken and then I think I'll grab one of the cheeseburgers as well uh, every time I'm in the dollar store and they have tissue I like to grab a roll of tissue and I usually just grab the Scott's tissue and that's usually if I'm in between buying tissue from um, the regular store and like I said, if they have it, I grab it because you can't beat that for $1.25. I also like to grab a roll of paper towels and they are completely stocked up on this stuff today, which is not normal for this store. But since it's here, I'm going to grab it. I'm also going to grab some dish soap. What kind of dish soap do you guys use? Leave a comment below on what kind of dish soap you use. Now, usually they have Dawn in here and that's what I'll get, but I don't see any Dawn today. So my next best bet is for the palm olive. I like to use the ultra strength or sometimes I use the blue one, um, pretty much whatever one they have. But for the most part, I get the Dawn and the palm olive out of here. And I like this one because this one is like, more concentrated than this one this one seems to be a little bit more watery than these ones so i just go with this one i'm also going to grab some comment right here this is what i use to clean my bathrooms um i've been using comment for years it was always it's always been my go-to so i stick with what i know i'm going to grab the comment Then I like going up this aisle right here that has like all the stuff like this. I keep saying I wanna reorganize some stuff and get things like this, um, but I don't know what I'm gonna use them for just yet. So I'm not gonna get them today. I need to figure out how I wanna organize first before I do that, cause I wanna redo my bathroom and some things in my kitchen, but I need to figure out how I wanna organize it first. But they do have a lot of these little things like this in here that are good for, you know, if you wanna organize and store some things. So I know where they're at. I know where to come and get them. They have things like this. This goes in your refrigerator. Okay, so these are cool. These are little things that go in your refrigerator for your fruit and your vegetables. They have the clear one, and then they also have this one right here. This is for your eggs. Okay, so I've never seen this one in here before, but I have egg storages, but this one's kind of cool. It just hangs on the refrigerator like that. I'm gonna grab some bacon soda. I like to change the um, baking soda in my refrigerator once a month. And I just do that, you know, to eliminate all the smells and things like that. I don't know. That's just something that I've always done as well. Do you guys change the baking soda or do you guys even put baking soda in your refrigerator? I'm gonna grab some Fabuloso and I'm gonna grab the original one right here. And I use this to clean my floors. I have hardwood floors throughout except for in the bedrooms so i'm constantly mopping my floors and fabuloso is one of the only things that i will use on my floors um just because it's the preference i've been using it for years so i just stick with what i know another thing that i like to grab in here is some of this right here you guys add this to your clothes when you're washing your clothes to any laundry detergent and it will make it smell so much better I'm, I'm gonna grab a couple of these today because i do need to do laundry so those will come in handy 
and every once in a while i will buy some of these laundry detergents in here and they actually do not smell bad they have these three different ones down here i think the one at the bottom is a fabric softener but they have the green one the orange one and the blue one and i will buy those here and there like i said but i always always come and get these to throw into my laundry just to give it that extra boost of freshness don't need bleach but they are pretty stocked in here for bleach as well every once in a while you can find clorox in here but today they only have this kind of bleach but i already have some of that so i don't need any of that today Okay, so I'm actually looking for some new kind of little flashcards for my kids, for my two little ones. They are actually homeschooled, and we always are looking for different things that we can do with them to improve on everything that they're doing at home since they are doing everything from home. So I wanted to find some kind of flashcards, um, mostly like addition and subtraction ones. So I'm going to grab these two right here, actually. They also have these kind of little books right here. They got these STEM books. They got multiplication, subtraction books. These are a bunch of different books for different grades. They got first grade. They got ages four through six. Now they have a bunch of these books already at home, but I like to get these kind of books for them just because sometimes something different is you know, needed. They, they go through the same books and they get bored with them. So I like to get them little books like this. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these books they have already got some of the stuff out for the beach they got some beach stuff out already this weather is nowhere near beach ready but they have it out already. They put it out early. They got some buckets and a couple beach things. I also like to look through here just to see what I see, what kind of little toys I can get for the kids. They usually don't last too long, but I like to get them for them anyway. This is all their paint and stuff. I like to get them these things as well, just to give them projects to do. Like I said, because they are homeschooled, they have to have different things to do out throughout the day. Um, as far as like arts and crafts and things like that that they do outside of their learning so I already have a bunch of paint I think I might just get them playing canvases today just for them to do whatever they want to do on the canvases they have these big ones right here so I'm gonna grab a couple of these big ones They also have a bunch of different puzzle and activity books over here and coloring books. They have a really nice variety of them. These are all painting things over here. Little art posters. They got these ones and those ones. This comes with a little kit of 10 pictures and then you get your markers with it. These are just paint posters as well. These are sun catchers that you can paint. These are little art easel things. I think it comes with a little easel and you put it up there and you paint on that. They've got games and things down here. These are, um, you can make charm bracelets. That's what that is. Those are charm bracelets. These are Monopoly Goes. Huh, I've never seen these before. I guess this is a little Monopoly, but you're playing with um, little paper things. These are cute. They got Battleship, Monopoly, Trouble. Okay, so they got a few different ones of those. Those are cute. So they are getting ready for St. Patrick's Day already. They got a few things in the aisle for St. Patrick's Day. They also have a few gardening things. I think I might plant something this year. I don't know. I tried it last year and it didn't work out too great, but they got some pot and soil in here. They got all these. Oh, they got a nice little variety. They got your little tools right here. And these are pretty sturdy. For $1.25, those are pretty sturdy. They got these ones in here as well. They got your pruning shears. They got a bunch of different pots. Bunch, bunch, bunch of them. 
Yeah, I think I might actually come back in here and grab some stuff to plant some, some plants this year. And they are all set for Easter. Now, the thing is, all this stuff will be gone here pretty soon. They got some cute stuff. These little baskets right here are cute. These little things right there are cute as well. We have a bunch, a bunch of Easter stuff already. A bunch of things that you can decorate over here. Bunch of decorations. So if you are looking to get Easter stuff, you might want to get on it because it is really packed right now at the dollar store. All this Easter candy. They've got a bunch of Easter candy, bunch of stuff to put in the Easter baskets. They got a bunch of Easter decorations here. Wow, they got a lot of Easter decorations. These are really cute too. I like these. They got a bunch of bunny ears. They are fully stocked with Easter things. Bunch of different buckets, bunch of different tablecloths. They got coloring cups, hats. This whole wall back here is Easter eggs. That's a lot of different Easter eggs, guys. That's a lot. I, I've actually never seen this many um, in this store before. They got a whole variety of Easter eggs in here. Let me see what kind they got. These are the animal ones right here. These are little trucks, those are cute. These are the bunnies. These are just assorted different ones. Um, they got those ones right there. Those are little bunnies. They got like some kind of tie dye, splash paint ones, clear ones. They have a really, really big variety of Easter egg, really big variety of Easter stuff in general. These are really cute as well. They got some bigger ones right here you can stuff a lot of stuff in so yeah if you guys are looking to get Easter stuff I would say definitely head over to Dollar Tree because they are fully stocked and loaded right now I like to grab these little crackers right here they have let's see they have the garden vegetable ones and then these ones are the olive oil and oregano the candy aisle over here okay so when i went to grocery outlet today they had these wallabies um things in there i want to say they were 3.99 i said they have them at dollar store and they do they have the classic black ones watermelon the classic red the berry the blueberry pomegranate and these are all in here for a dollar 25 a piece usually they have the um green apple ones but they don't have those ones in here today but if you haven't tried those before try them they're really good and of course, all the other candies that they have. I try to avoid this aisle at all cost because it is always stocked and ready to go. Okay, this is my little haul in Dollar Tree, guys. Head it to the register, see how much it comes out to. Okay, guys, I spent a total of $36.25 at Dollar Tree. I spent a total of $36 in the Dollar Tree today, which isn't bad, but I did get a few things that I did need and a few things that I didn't need, but that's how it goes when you go to Dollar Tree, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.